Hey, it's Norm from Test.com, and for this week's show and tell, I've been testing an accessory for my smartphone, for my Android phone. Um, it's this little guy here, and it's called the Seek Thermal. And believe it or not, it's one of two thermal imaging camera accessories available now for your iPhone or your Android phone. There's a device called the FLIR One, which you might have heard of. It was a case that could attach to an iPhone. And this is a different one called the Seek Thermal. And I chose the Seek Thermal based on specs. Uh, apparently the, the, the thermal camera on this one has a higher resolution than the thermal camera in the FLIR One. And it also worked on Android without any type of case. So the way it works is just a micro USB connection and it plugs into your Android phone. Now, you might already be saying, not all micro USB connections on Android phones are oriented the same way, and that's true. So for devices like the Nexus 5, for example, that actually doesn't point in the right direction where you can use the phone as a viewfinder. You need to then connect a cable, an adapter cable, which you can buy on Monoprice, for example. But for my Moto X 2014 edition, it does work, and so I have the camera pointed outward, and then on here, you do see a thermal image. Now, thermal sensors are not like your typical camera sensors. And it's not like the IR night vision sensors you have either on a, on a security camera. They are really low resolution. They're basically 206 by 156 pixels. They do blow it up for some interpolation, but you do get to see the gradients in temperature changes. You can see, for example, if a car has been running recently. If I, if I uh, shot this over a parking lot, I can see the engines being warmer on the cars that are more recently parked than the ones that have been there the whole day. Uh, there are some practical uses for this. Uh, if you're the type of person who wants to, needs to, for example, check uh, leaks in your piping and, and heat, heat hot spots in your house, then you can use that for this. For me, I actually put it on laptops and tablets and I can see where they're getting hot, which part of the screens are getting hot, uh, or if the battery is getting hot and which temperature they're at. It is useful for temperature monitoring, uh, but you can't use it for things like identifying a passcode for a security. Like if I put this in front of our alarm system, you can't see which, which of the buttons have been touched the most. Not useful for that. You can capture photos, take screen grabs, and you can even shoot some thermal video, but the, the use case is very, it's highly specialized. It's, it's, a, it's a fun little gimmick that if you need it, it's good to use, but for most people, again, it's just a novelty. So that's the Seek Thermal. It's an accessory for your Android device. There is an iOS version with a lightning connector. And like I said before, it's a very specialized use case, not for everyone, but the images that you get out of this are pretty cool and I've been having some fun with it. So that's it for this week's show and tell. I'll have another cool thing next week. Stay tuned on Tested. I'll see you next time. Hot, hot, very hot. <laughs>